doctrine of the day. The wrong credentials. Too many times in these last and evil days, folks will introduce a speaker on TV, live stream, or even in person in the congregation being introduced with an array of degrees and diplomas or a list of credentials even before the speaker comes before the people. But those degrees and other religious academic accolades are the wrong credentials for preaching and teaching the apostles' doctrine of Jesus Christ. Now, after a while, you realize that almost everybody that's coming to preach is being introduced like that. But hardly no preacher or teacher in these last and evil days is being introduced as being saved and sanctified. Buried in water by baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking with new tongues. Walking in the Spirit, in holiness, and righteousness before God. Not fulfilling the lust of the flesh all the days of their life. No. Uh -uh. And when they start preaching, if that's what they want to call their lectures... You know it ain't preaching because they're quoting dead theologians just as much, if not more, than our living Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the Holy Scriptures which testify of Him. Then the second thing you notice is the lack of the anointing on that speak. Now, when you study the folks that these new unregenerated speakers, pastors, and teachers are quoting, you realize that those jokers from the first century onward all lack the same heavenly credentials that according to Luke 24, 49 and Acts 1 and 8 is the power that comes from on high. Number one, none of those early theologians whose doctrine is being followed by most of these congregations today has testified that they have been buried in water baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, none of those early theologians whose doctrine is being followed by most of these congregations today has testified that they have been filled with the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues. The truth is that those folks who these modern day overseers follow were not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or filled with the Holy Ghost proving that they didn't even belong to God as it is written in Romans 8 and 9. That's why these unregenerated preachers, pastors and teachers in these last and evil days who don't even believe the authorized Holy Bible is perfect and preserved, are baptizing folks wrong. Like this guy right here. These unregenerated preachers, pastors, and teachers today are cheating people out of their chance to enter into the kingdom of God, disobeying the word of God that is written in Acts 19 and 5 and Galatians 3.17. When you look up Polycarp, Justin Martyr, Pantheus of Alexandria, Plymouth of Alexandria, the Turb of Carthage, Origin of Alexandria, and on and on, none of them folks were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or filled with the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues as written in the Holy Scriptures in Acts 2, 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. But none of them clowns experienced that. What? 
That's a shame. Because we got overseers in these congregations today that think of these wannabe religious buffoons and their false crooked doctrine above what is written in the Holy Scriptures. Deliberately disobeying 1 Corinthians 4, 6. That's why these wrong credential overseers ain't baptizing folks in the name of Jesus Christ now. Because their theological, unregenerated heroes weren't baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. As the Bible says, that's why these wrong credential overseers ain't praying for folks to receive the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues now because their theological, unregenerated heroes were filled with the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues. These modern-day preachers, pastors, and teachers have ditched Jesus Christ and the apostles' doctrine of Christ and went all in on Holy Ghost. Justin Martyr, Pantanius, Clement of Alexandria, to Turin, Origen, Eusebius of Caesarea, Augustine of Hippo, and on and on with those other devils too, who didn't even belong to God, who didn't even know God, and God didn't know them, according to Romans 8 and 9. But it gets worse, because when you look up all these folks that wrote these Hebrew and Greek lexicons, that these preachers be falling all over the day, folk, until they don't say what they wanted to say. Especially these biblical commentary writers who don't have nowhere in their biographies that they were buried in water, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, or filled with the Holy Ghost speaking with new tongues. Like Charles J. Ellicott. He was a bishop in the Church of England. But the Church of England don't bury in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And Ellicott, with all those Bible commentaries, didn't testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credential. Robert Jimmys, a moderator at the Church of Scotland. But the Church of Scotland don't bury in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And James, with all those Bible commentaries, did testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credential. David Brown, who was a director of the National Bible Society of Scotland, and wrote all the books, but his free church of Scotland don't bury in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And Brown, with all those Bible commentaries, did testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credentials. Reverend A.R. Fawcett wrote all that stuff on Bible prophecy from the Anglican Church that don't bury in water in the name of Jesus Christ. And Fawcett, all those Bible commentaries did testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credentials. Not a heavenly credential in sight for none of them, according to Acts 2 and 4 and Acts 19, 5 and 6. None of them. Joseph Benson the English Methodist minister who comes from the Methodist church that baptizes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which is not burial by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And Benson, with all those Bible commentaries, didn't testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credential. Matthew Henry the Presbyterian minister who comes from the Presbyterian church that baptizes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which is not buried by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And Henry, with all those Bible commentaries, didn't testify 
that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credential. Albert Barnes, the Presbyterian minister who comes from the Presbyterian church that baptizes in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, which is not buried by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and Barnes, with all those Bible commentaries, didn't testify that it was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credentials. Not a heavenly credential in sight for none of them, according to Acts 2 and 4 and Acts 19, 5 and 6. None of them. John Gill, the Baptist pastor who comes from the Baptist church that baptizes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which is not burial by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And Gil, with all those Bible commentaries, didn't testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. Well, he got the wrong credential. John Calvin, the reformer who comes from the reformer church, that baptizes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which is not burial by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and Calvin. With all those Bible commentaries, didn't testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credential. John Nelson Darby, the Bible teacher from the Church of Ireland, that baptizes in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, which is not buried by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and dark. With all those Bible commentaries, did testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credentials. Not a heavenly credential in sight for none of them, according to Acts 2 and 4 and Acts 19 and 5 and 6. None of them. Joseph Henry Thayer, the lexicon writer from the Congregationist Church that baptizes in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, which is not burial by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. And Thayer, with all those commentaries in his lexicon, didn't testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credential. James Strong, the lexicon writer, Methodist theologian, and professor from the Methodist Church that baptizes in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Ghost, which is not burial by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, and Strong, with his lexicon, and all those commentaries, didn't testify that he was filled with the Holy Ghost. What? He got the wrong credentials. Not a heavenly credential in sight for none of them, according to Acts 2 and 4 and Acts 19, 5 and 6. None of them. All these folks who these modern-day professors, scholars, pastors, and teachers make all this whoop whoop about who even churchgoers in Bible class will read their commentaries in their attempt to explain passages in the precious holy word of God, who preachers, pastors, elders, evangelists, and Bible teachers use as their guides in their attempt to understand the written holy scriptures because of their janky wrong credentials saying stuff like, well, you know, so-and-so had a doctor of divinity and a THD and a PhD and wrote more books than actually in the Holy Bible. Oh, for real? Yeah. What did he say? Did he have the Holy Ghost? Was his sins washed away, buried in water in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Well... Mm -hmm. So these folks according to the written Holy Scriptures, didn't even belong to God. Boy, the devil got religion jacked up. It's like the coach of the Red Wings drawing up plays for the Detroit Lions.
But these overseers who are supposed to be watching for folks' souls are going for this garbage. These jokers who the overseers are falling all over for with their janky trinity doctrine and garbage like that. But their hero theologians didn't even belong to God. What? This is an abomination. The bank calls folks depositors. The school calls folks students. The politicians calls folks voters. The congregations calls folks parishioners. But in John 17, 10, Jesus Christ calls his born-again disciples baptized in Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Ghost. Mine! All are mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Jesus Christ calls them mine. But these folks that the pastors and teachers follow and think over the very word of God didn't even belong to God. Y'all better hurry up and repent. Judgment day is coming and can't nobody stop it. The written Holy Scriptures tells us that it is the spirit of truth that guides the born again disciple of Jesus Christ into all truth. As the Scriptures say in John 16, 13, How be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will shew you things to come. You heard that? The living Holy Spirit of truth, not some dead old fossils that didn't even belong to God, trying to handle holy things of God. They're like a chimpanzee in a cockpit of a 767 jet liner, just pressing buttons. That's why all these modern day preachers, pastors, and teachers got all this guesswork doctrine today. They're just pressing buttons and don't understand what they're doing. Sit down. You have to get sound doctrine from the Holy Ghost. The man of God has to be born again of the water Bathed in water by baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking with new tongues, walking in the Spirit so that he does not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If you ain't got that, then you ain't saved. And if you ain't saved, calling yourself talking about spiritual things of God, reading out the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, then sit down. You can't teach and preach God's word when you don't even belong to God. Just like none of these men that got commentaries and lexicons all up in these revised version Bibles and trying to comment on the authorized Holy Bible too. But it won't work. That's why it don't work. But overseers in the congregations all over the world today use these commentaries of these unregenerated theologians for their guidance in their doctrine. That's why they jacked up. Y'all better get it together. Jesus Christ is coming back for a glorious church, not a bunch of folks depending on the words of unregenerated men who didn't even belong to God. As the scriptures say in Romans 8 and 9, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God will to you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. No wonder so many overseers and their congregations can't understand the Lord Jesus Christ. Can't understand that God ain't a trinity. Can't understand that there is no divorce in grace and truth. Can't understand tithes. Holiness, sanctification, justification, and the apostle doctrine of Jesus Christ. Because their instruction ain't coming from the spirit of truth, but from commentaries of unregenerated men who never belong to God. Repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.